Hello, my friends, and welcome to the 40th episode of Sky Factory 3.0. Today's episode is proudly brought to you by Refined Storage. Yes, we are going to build the Refined Storage system, and we're going to check it off on our achievement book. Dun, dun, dun. As you see on the left-hand side of my screen, we have a controller, we have a crafting grid, we have a solder, and we also have the disk drive with a disk in it. Yes, and wait, there is a bonus. There's a bonus. It's called external storage. We're going to connect our drawers to it. Dun, dun, dun. Got a lot to show you. So hold on tight, and let's get going. Okay, this is what we need today for our refined storage system. Um, basically, it's, it's pretty simple. Everything we got here is not a big deal at all. Um, this is from our essence farm. Um, there's another way of getting this, and that is through, you see, you for uses. Um, you can actually take three iron and quartz, which I'm getting my quartz off from my chickens and laying them out. There's another way if you can get it through soul sand and uh, sieving it. But yeah, the chickens and there's another way, the essence farms, you can get it that way. You, you go ahead and look. You get through the essence farms, you can get through the chickens, you can get it through sieving uh, soul sand through, yeah, there's just so many different ways. There should be a chicken. There's the chickens here. Yeah, there's so many ways of getting it. Uh, but this is what we need, and we're going to go ahead and start out making our iron quartz, iron enriched, uh, quartz enriched iron, blah. And we're going to take, we're going to go ahead and make a lot of this. And that's, I'm doing this, each recipe that we're going to use today is going to use this stuff. So this is the maximum, that I think I have a leftover, about two ingots when we get done here. And I'm going to go ahead and spread this out. Each recipe is something that we're going to make today. And the first one in, in here is going to have 12. Let's go ahead and put that in there. I get 12, one more. 12, and then the next one's going to have 6. And then this one's going to have 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's do this way. 12 again. And I believe it's actually 6 again. And we can go half that. And then we need 7. I just, you know, I could have had this all set out just like this for you to know. But I, I want to start out with the essence. That way you know how much essence to actually use from the very beginning. All right, and then this one is going to be 24. Four. And the last one here is going to be three. One, two, three. And I think it's storming on me. And that's going to be my excess. All right, so this is what we need. And if you're ready to go, um, I believe everything in there is pretty self-describing. You know, Glowstone, gold, iron. If it's not this, it's going to be iron. So the iron was already in here. So we got some iron nuggets, and there's some iron there, and of course you got some slime balls. All right. So that is what you need for today's episode. Oh, the glass is another thing. The glass you can use regular, get a regular chisel, and just go ahead and look at that real quick. And you can put glass in here, and you can get the uh, the glass that you need here, which is the a quite clear glass. You don't have to smelt it in sinker's construct or anything. So all set. Well, the rain is going good. I have this thing going now. So all we hear is the thunder, and it keeps all the rain from coming. I got that in one of the looting bags. All right. So if you can tolerate the thunder, I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and take out this first set. This is going to be to make our controller, the whole main, the heart, and everything to our whole system. And basically, what we have to do is get some silicone real quick, and we're just going to go ahead and take our Another quartz, throw it in here, and it's going to come out silicone. And believe it or not, that is all there is to the to the controller. We can go ahead and craft the controller now. And, oh, I'm missing the machine frame. We can go ahead and do that real quick. Now we can go ahead and bake the controller. And really, it's that simple. It's not hard at all. Don't be intimidated by making this thing. Um, I'm going to put mine right here. That way the power can get to it right there there it is there we go and it lights up and we have power and we now have a controller and you can see it's full of power dun 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 so that's the first thing made now the second thing we're going to make is go ahead and get the products down is going to be um is it soldering station yeah the solderer the solder that's what we're going to make next it's not too difficult again it's two pist sticky pistons with some of this nether quartz or quartz enriched iron which we made at the beginning so let's go ahead and get that going real quick. We need two of these. And there you go. Two, and then we need to make them sticky. Two, and then just like this. 
now we have our solderer. There we go. And I'm going to put our solderer. I guess I'll put it right here, but before I do, I am going to need to make some cables. And the cables aren't too hard to make. Let's go ahead and, yes, ah, wrong one. Let's go here first, get the supplies out. This is everything I need for my cables. I'm making a bunch of cables, a bunch of cables here. So don't get too intimidated by that. Um, let's go over here, hit this, go to the cable, shift left quick, left quick. We're making 48 of them. So yeah, if you want to just make one set, I'm making a lot. I'll show you why in just a few minutes. Um, but there's 48. I'll take care of that. Now we can go ahead and put our solderer down. And it'll have power and it's ready to go and it's connected. Yeah, yay. Okay. So the next thing we're going to make is going to be our, it's, it's a crafting grid. Um, you could make the grid, but why make just a grid when you need, it's better just to make the crafting grid. It's just one more step. Actually, that's not the crafting grid. Yeah, it's just one more step. So it's not a big deal. So just go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to make the grid first off and then you take the grid, which is right here and you just add these things to it, which is not a big deal. All right, everything you see in my inventory now, everything except one of these is going to go through our smelter. Well, not everything. The gold, the iron, and the diamonds are going to go through our smelter. The silicone has to go through twice. There we go. And we're going to leave one nether quartz out. There we go. Throw the diamond in there. Throw the iron in there. And throw the gold in there. There we go. So we're just going to smelt all that. And it comes up these different, you know, unique things that they have here. Now we're going to go over here to our solderer. And you see, we are making the grid first thing. And we need to make two of these improv processors. So it's going to hit shift. And it's going to go ahead and pull it out of our inventory. And it's going to go ahead and start making it. I don't think there's anything I can craft while this thing goes. It takes a minute. Um... Yeah, everything. Oh, I can go ahead and make the machine block, I guess. There we go. That is our machine chest casing. Machine casing. There we go. And that's one of those and one of those. So the next thing we're going to need to make is actually two of these basic processors. Take this out. There we go. Now the basic processors, let's go ahead and look at it real quick. These two are basically the same. One of them has a glowstone. One of them has nether quartz. So they're both the, the same thing. It's just one of them has glowstone, one of them has uh, a quartz. There we go. And come on, we're almost there. Yeah, I thought about cheating and making, they have a speed upgrade for this thing. I thought about cheating and just putting it in here that way you don't have to wait as long, but I, yeah, I decided not to. All right, there's one and there's the other. And I think that's just about everything, right? You see, let's look at our recipe. We have our grid, and that is everything for just the grid. Now we need to take this stuff and put it through the solderer and do the advanced one, not that one, but this one. Why don't I show you this while it gets going? It's processing now. Now, if we make this crafting grid with our solderer, we have to use a crafting table and a and the grid, right? Oh, it's okay. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same recipe. Okay, we can do that. But it'll take a few minutes for us to do it. Or we can just go over here and do it. And it's right here. And the recipe is done. And you don't have to wait for it. <laughs> a lot easier. A lot easier. All right, we're just going to go ahead and put that right here on top. And we're going to right click on it. And now we have our grid to hold our stuff. Our, this is our normal inventory. And this is our crafting table right here. Um, if we want to throw some cobblestone up there, it won't let us right now. Why? It was because we don't have a place to store this stuff. All right, we are going to now make a disk drive and some disk so we can store that stuff. The disk drive is really not hard. Again, look, it doesn't really take much here. We're going to go ahead and go over here to our smeltery, and we're going to throw this in here. Just doing the same thing we did before. We're going to throw this in here. Now we have everything we need to make our disk drive. Actually, I need to throw that in one more time. Silicone goes twice. There we go. And now we need to come over to our solderer and see where's our disk drive. 
this drive right there. And that's what we're making. We're making two of those. Now is the disk drive the one that's... Yeah, the disk drive, you have to have a machine frame and a chest to make the disk drive through the solderer. And over here, you have to have... To have it's a lot cheaper, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. It only uses one of those. Let's see. Let's look at it again. Disk drive. Where'd it go? Crafter, crafter. Where's my disk drive? Oh, right here. It's just using one advance instead of two. So uh, it's about, probably about the same. It's probably about the same, but it's two different recipes, so don't get too confused. We're going to use the one here in the crafting table. And that's right here. Shift question mark. And now we have our disk drive. We'll go place that over there in just a minute. This here is for our disk. We're going to go ahead. Now the disk, yes, we'll go ahead and place it now. There's our disk drive, no big deal. Now the disk drive we're going to put in there is is going to be a 4K. Now there's several levels. There's 1K, 4K, 16K, 64K, I think the top. Um, now the K, that means a thousand items. You know how easy it would to fill up one of these things? I have a thousand items of some of this stuff. Um, where I don't even have it here, but the essence over there. I have it over, a th here you go. That, 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 that would fill it up, just the string alone. A thousand is not much. Four thousand is really not much either, considering everything I have. So four thousand, we're going to go ahead and go with that, and I'll show you why. Uh, four thousand should be r real good for what we need today. All right, so this is, let's see, did I get everything out? Yeah, I did. And on here, we're going to go ahead and start doing all the solder, uh, smelting again. Same thing we did before. And we're going to run this through twice, and we're going to run the iron through once. So I'll, we'll, we'll step back and let this go just for a minute, and we'll come right back. All right, the nether quartz has run through t two times now. I'm going to go ahead and put the iron in next. There we go. There we go. This will only take a second, and it'll be ready to go ahead and make our disk dry. And you know what? I messed up. I have messed up. I did not need to do all that. I did not need to do all that. This one here, I need 12. So I have messed up. Let's go ahead and get 12 of these out. And I only need to put them through once. So, one, two, three, four. I don't need these. I'm going to delete these and get rid of them. Go into the trash. Sorry about that. That was a waste of time, waste of information. But we caught it beforehand. All right, so we need 12 silicones. We need four of these printed circuits. So you only need to put four, four of them through the second time. All right, so with that done, we are going to go ahead and start making our disk drive. It's a 4K right there. And let's go ahead and make the first one with the silicon. And that is in a crafting table. 4K. And this one. And then we have our three of these. There we go. I believe, let's see what the next one takes. We need the solderer for that. and be four of those. And 4K. Question mark. That one. And then there we go. Now this will take just a few minutes to go through, and we should have everything we need. Yep. And just sorry about this. You did remember all those quartz, so you don't have to put them all through twice. All right, I'm gonna let this run just for a second, and we'll be right back. All right, the last one's just about finished processing. We should be able to put our 4K storage together now with the crafting table. And let's see, 4K, this. And we got that thing. That is a bad looking thing. It gets even better looking higher up they get. And we should have everything now for our first 4K disk drive. We'll go ahead and put that in over here. And now we can actually put our cobblestone in here if we want. And if you look over here, it says two items out of 4,000 has already been put in there. So if I put in four full stacks of stuff, that, that one will be completely full. So I have a solve around that. And just be patient. We're going to do that right now. So, so basically now, if you want, let's go ahead and grab some cobblestone real quick. Just give you a demonstration. There we go, we got eight of them. We're going to go ahead and throw those into our grid. Now if we want to make a furnace, and this isn't locked to my GUE over here, so just go ahead and do GE, whatever, I think it auto 
there you go. You see how it works now. F U. Yeah, they enter a lock together. So we got a furnace. I'm gonna hit shift question mark. And since I have eight cobblestone in there, I can make a furnace now. We can go ahead and throw that in there. And if we look at our grid now, we have a cobblestone. That's it. We have hardly anything in there. But that is how we craft, and that's how we use our stuff in our inventory. All right, let's go ahead and expand this and this is a bonus and this is something I think is really really the best part to this whole thing and one reason I've been using these drawers so exclusively all right let's go ahead and get to this last part this is what we need for it um, this is going to be it's good did I lose it yeah I did at oh what in the world is the name of this mod pack uh refined storage ah that refined Refined storage. What we're going to use now is right here, external storage. And this is what we need. And again, I have everything laid out plus that that we need for the external storage. This is make one of those things. All right, let's go ahead and see what we need to do with this. Um, actually, let's go back to our smelter. We're going to smelt everything this time except for one of those. And we're going to do this thing twice. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't need silicone. I need the next level. There we go. We need to do the iron. And we need to do the gold. There we go. And last but not least, the gold. Come over to our soldering station. And just go ahead and look at our recipe, external storage. And again, this is like we made earlier, the external storage things. Um, we're going to make, I thought it was two of these. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's look at the recipe again. Da, 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 da. Actually, these two. Constructive, deconstruction. They have the same basic thing here. So we're going to make two of those in just a second. And there you go. Make two of these. Take that one out. And then we just add the, the other quartz or the glowstone to the final product to get the other part of it. So again, it's really not hard if you have everything laid out and you just know what to smelt and what not to smelt. Um, if you start diving through it, it gets kind of confusing. So hopefully this has helped make things a little more, a little smoother for you as you go through it and less intimidating. Um, yeah, I think they try to make it intimidating. There we go. There we go. Now let's come over here and we'll craft those two things together. I, right there. We got that one. We got this one. And now we just need to put it all together. External storage. Where is it? There you go and we have it and this is all we need and what we're going to do here with this thing we are going to connect it to this Let's get on my right here and then I am going to connect it all the way over there that's why I have all this extra cable let's go ahead and put it right here All right, now those are connected. Let's go ahead and bring this thing down. Where does this come down at? There, right there. Now, if you remember in my storage system a few minutes ago, I got one extra. All I had in it was, um, there you go, I'm all right. Beom cobblestones and a furnace now if you look in here we have everything I have in my storage drawers that that is a lot if you think about it my hard drive my disk drive only holds 4,000 things if you look at it I have 1,000 blocks of gold alone I have 9,000 uh, ingots of gold I mean that's just that's just that's just cool I mean I have everything I want um, there is a few things that's not connected up yet I can connect my essence. I'm going to go ahead and make one more of those things. And I'm going to run the um, wire here so we can get my essences and connected to it. I'll do that in between episodes. And I haven't decided if, how I'm going to handle this yet. I might move these drawers over there. That way we have all our dyes because this is basically dyes. And then the last thing I have to figure out is how to get the cobblestone over there. But I'm going to do that in between episodes. But this is how I like my refined storage. My 4K. If you look at here only has three items in it so I can probably my only miscellaneous chest is this kind of chest right here oh and also I have wood I have to figure out what to do this I might connect it to it somehow or throw wood in here I don't know we'll figure it all out
but that is that is a start and yeah I love this idea we haven't really needed up to this point but I think now we're going to start making things a little more complicated and it should help us out a whole bunch all right my friends that ends today's episode before we go I want to make sure we check it off our achievement book we have created a refined storing system to store our things we have definitely done that that's what we did today we have already done something. I haven't checked it off yet. And I should have automatic storage of ore pieces. That's the sieving stuff. Chunks from our automatic sieve. So we have done that. And we have also set it up. Process sieve material to ingots. Where it automatically processes the stuff. I don't think there's anything else right now that we can talk about. But that's good for now. Um, I hope today's episode has helped. And made the, the refined storage less intimidating. Because it's really not that difficult to do. And hopefully I've made the process of getting into it a little bit easier. If you have, please give me that thumbs up, that check mark, that like. It will be appreciated a lot. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It's been fun. It's been real. And it has been really refined storagely fun. <laughs> See you soon, guys. Bye. Ah! Big nose.